Hey guys, been a while since I did a video, so I figured have a little extra time today. I'll try and do a quick little video. This is my crystal red tank. As you can see, I just dropped a piece of food down in there maybe a couple seconds ago. We're starting to investigate it. This is a new type of food I haven't tried yet. I bought this a little while ago and I'm just getting around to trying it out now. It's um special Halloween mix from La, La Fermette à Crevettes. Uh, that's French and I probably didn't say that right, but you get the idea. I believe uh, it's pumpkin based. Anywho, if I'm wrong, maybe somebody can correct me. Uh, again, that, that's in French. It's a company based out of Montreal that make their own uh, high-grade food. They got a couple of different types from them, so... Nice to have somebody more local where I'm in Nova Scotia and Montreal is just the next province over, basically. See how the shrimp like this. I've also tried it out in my uh, Tang Tai tank. Starting to come in for a, a taste. Well, look at the orange coloration on that guy. These, uh, if you don't know, are a mix of uh, tangerine tigers and Taiwan bees. And the black one there in the middle is a uh, panda. Also, that panda would also be known as a black King Kong because the white on it doesn't extend all the way around the body. These guys produce lots of amazing, amazing colors. As you can see, lots of babies everywhere. Starting to flock in there now. Let's see what the Bloody Marys think of this. Looks like they're all coming in for some too. I wonder if that guy will drop down to have some. Sometimes you'll hear a little clunk in here and you'll wonder what's going on and you'll remember it's probably just a rabbit snail that decided to take the quick way down from the glass. They're quite big these guys, as you can tell. Got a baby back there on the glass. They're easy to tell apart from the Malaysian trumpet snails because they're a lot darker color. There's another one. The shell on the rabbit snail is a lot darker color and these guys are orange as you can see. They're awesome colors. You can get them in yellow or yellow with kind of black stripes, orange antenna. And as you can see I have Malaysian trumpet snails everywhere everywhere it's 
See one of my panda shrimp back there. I love the stripe down the back of those guys. They're just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Piece of stone that was supposedly supposed to be dragon stone, but then I was told there's mineral deposits in it and that it isn't dragon stone. So I took it out of my Caridina tanks just in case because I didn't want to mess up the water perimeter. So now it's in here with the Bloody Marys who wouldn't mind so much. Uh, there's a big mama with some eggs. Hi there, mama. How you doing? Ain't she pretty? I have the Indian green shrimp in here too. I only got eight of them, I believe. Uh, I don't know if they're all still alive or not. You don't see them very often. They're not really a green color, they're more of a clear color. I was hoping maybe their colors would pop more in this tank. Oh, I see one. I'll show you guys. You can see them right there. In front of the tube. There we go. Got them from Shrimp Fever. Hoping maybe to get a couple more from somebody else, maybe to add some more more color to them, maybe more genetics. I'm not sure how easy they are to breed. I didn't really do a lot of research on them. All I know is they're a type of Caridina and they won't interbreed with Neos, which are what these Bloody Marys are, so there's no risk of them interbreeding. So I don't have to worry about the color of my Bloody Marys being affected. See some of the duller ones in there? Less red. I call them out and I put them in a call tank I have with a beta and eventually they all turn dark red dark as you can be none of them really stay light colored so I guess it's just them being young they haven't developed their color yet but I do pull them some of them out just to be safe because I do want to keep the strain as red as I can I'm just rambling on here I guess I like the pumpkin Another mom in there fanning her eggs. Baby rabbit's now heading over that way. Take a quick look in my uh, panda tank. I kind of put my streams in here. I want to raise some of these separate got a couple regular kind of pandas in there too. I'll probably take them out and just leave the the extremes in there. There might be seven or so in here all together. Didn't give these guys any pumpkin. There's only a couple of them in here so a lot of times I put food in they don't really pay much attention to it. I just think there's so much algae and stuff in here for them to graze on that they don't bother. So I only feed them now and then. Got lots of boosts in there and uh, fissidins. More boosts. Some algae. I got the algae growing on top of the sponge filters for some reason. I don't know why I keep pulling it off every now and then. I don't know if it's the lights or what. Maybe somebody can let me know. Hello? And this tank here is still cycling. Last time I checked, there was still ammonia in it, so... Getting that one ready for what? I'm not sure yet. I was thinking orange eye blue tigers. Or black tigers with orange eyes, but, uh... Probably 
depends on whatever I can get my hands on really I might just end up putting some blue bolts in there or something glare there. Ooh, looks like they're liking the food. Thumbs up on the food. Focus. There. Yeah. What do you guys think? You like them tang ties? I think you really need a lot of light in the tank to really appreciate the colors. There's just so many different colors mixed into them. I want I do want to get some red pandas to go in here just to add some red color to. See what else I can get popping out. an extra light over here in the corner as you see I have that on I don't have it on all day with the regular lights I just have it on a couple hours a day just to get some more algae growth algae growth sorry I know I mumble sometimes algae growth uh, over there in the corner just to give them extra food to feed on and to help the plants over there and the, the crystal reds are uh, Chowing down. There's one wine red in here that a friend of mine gave me. Let's see if we can spot him. Really different color. There. You see him? Looks really dark back there in the shadow. You gonna come out? Are you gonna come out? I believe it's a one red panda because it's got the red kind of face on the front. Right on the front, he's red. No, not white like the crystals. Pretty little guy. Yeah, I love this tank. Had this one the longest, and probably don't pay enough attention to it, but. I think in the end when uh, I really think about it, I think it's probably my favorite tank. Okay guys, well thanks for stopping in and watching my videos. Hopefully I'll make another one soon. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And hey, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe if you feel like it. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.